a lot of people, but as Kyle mentioned, things have certainly cleared up by now. Now, this was definitely one of the areas that the Butler County Emergency Management Agency was concerned about. It activated its Emergency Operations Center, the EOC, this morning, with the population of the area expected to double or even triple for the eclipse from 400,000 to upwards of a million people. Emergency management needed to anticipate potential issues. Now, the EOC has representatives from Ohio CERT, that's the Community Emergency Response Team, the National Guard, there are hospitals standing by on Zoom, a Central Communications Command. While the weather was perfect for viewing the eclipse, it was a dual-edged sword for emergency officials. Uh, you know, one of the things that we talked about is in the event of good weather, people are going to be searching for blue skies. So people may be coming from Indiana, they may be coming from Michigan, may be coming from other parts of Ohio to Butler County, just because the weather is going to be so perfect for us today. And it was perfect, and they did come. This is the traffic heading into Oxford and Hamilton at about 1.15 as people were heading to the path of totality. I was told by one person it took nearly two hours to get from Oxford down to the 275 at one point. Very trafficy, but definitely worth it, I think, for most of the people who saw this incredible spectacle. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.